What is good, guys? It's Ray J back with another video. And in this one, I want to break down what's happening with Spy, Tesla, MPD, the QQQ, and a couple of other tickers. I'm going to break down some news that came out involving Tesla and the overall market and how things are looking, in my personal opinion. But before I break the demos information, before I get into any more details, let me just mention a couple of things. I am personally not a financial planner, so take nothing I say as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please check out my Moomoo link. We deposit $100, you're guaranteed five free stocks. We deposit $1,000, you're guaranteed 15 in total. And the offerings very soon in just about uh, 11 days from now. Anyways, for Tesla, I just wanted to mention that we're actually testing our 50 EMA at this 242.73 area. We were range bound, but there was a bit of a downtrend. We ended up losing our support at 246. So as a result, we're now coming down to our 242 targets. So for Tesla, I'm going to be watching to see what we hold here. If we close below this support, we have a risk of coming all the way down here towards 238 and even lower levels. If we close above this, we could try to rebound next week, but there is a risk of a little bit more downside. Now, even if this ends up being the case, even if Tesla does end up coming down, I'm not as worried once again because it depends on earnings. Earnings could always cause another big move, and we'll see if Tesla ends up getting a rug pull or not. But so far, this pattern is a little bit more bearish. We have this double top like structure, and we are kind of turning back down. So this does favor some downside, at least for the time being. So just be a little bit careful with Tesla and the overall market. We're actually, actually continuing to see a sell-off, especially because of all this news that's coming out. There was some negative news involving CrowdStrike because we're starting to see a lot of uh, computers down right now all over the U.S., especially when it comes to airlines and hotels. I actually have a lot of friends who are being impacted by this, so not the best of news. Uh, that's actually going to have a big effect on Microsoft, so if you're interested in playing that, that's something that's worth noting. Uh, other things worth noting is we actually have Bostic giving a speech uh, very, very soon. It's not going to affect the market too much, in my opinion, but it's, it's just worth noting. There's not really much data as well that's coming out. As far as Tesla goes, Tesla's also giving away free hardware upgrades, uh, basically with the full FSD to qualify for the tax credit. So this is another decent piece of news. This is what's going to once again incentivize a lot more sales. It's going to be qualifying for the Model 3 performance and the Model X, which is once again important for the federal tax credits. Now, it's also going to be very limited depending on different options, right? This depends on hardware options and such. Uh, but in order for them to qualify with this, they're going to be open-minded to just uh, give a lot more benefits. On top of this, they're doing this amidst the fact that they had to raise some prices on some models in California and also parts of Canada. So I just wanted to call that out. I also want to note that right over here that um, with different changes, we're starting to see some uh, price changes as well for the Model X. The seven-seat option costs about $3,500. It's also going to bring the prices up a little bit more. With the FSD package, that also gives the free access to the uh, tax credit thanks to FSD being there and also these other free hardware upgrades. So that's something very important for Tesla to help increase their sales. Now, I also want to talk about this news right over here. Uh, there's been a lot of talk about President Joe Biden. Uh, obviously, I wish him good health and all the best. But I just want to say that there's been a lot of debates coming out right now about whether or not he's going to continue to run for president. Some sources are saying that he's going to step down. There's other sources saying that his family are discussing exit plans. And it's actually very, very complicated. So uh, just remember one thing, guys. The market loves certainty. The market loves to be certain about how things are going to look moving forward. And with this coming out, there's a lot of uncertainty about who's going to replace him and all these other things. So this is, once again, a little bit more negative for the markets. That's part of why the market's dipping, not to mention the fact that it's Friday. And all these different factors are affecting us. And also because of the fact that the market was due for a bit of a pullback. So for Tesla, I'm going to be looking at 242.7 as resistance R50 EMA. If we try to get above this, there is potential for us to try to retest this previous uh, support becoming resistance around 246. But as of right now, we're below this key support. Uh, now it's acting as resistance. That's our 50 EMA. If we continue to fall, make sure you watch 240 is the next support. If that fails, let's watch 238. That's where this imbalance happens to be. And if that fails, Tesla could come all the way down, in my opinion, to about 232. So it's looking a little bit more bearish. There are uh, some risks of downside. But just be very, very careful when it comes to the way it's moving. And just know that we are below support. And the market is once again tracking it lower. SPY is also dipping quite a bit. So we attempted to rebound, so I basically called out that there might be a test of 555. And we'll have to see if SPY breaks through that or if it rejects. We actually came a little bit short of my target. We went up to about five, uh, 554.02 or something like that. So we were about one point away from my target before it ended up coming back down. Uh, we made it. We, we did rebound a little bit only to reject, so that's another big sign of weakness. 
And spot is also losing 550.5. So I'm going to be anticipating 548 or so. It's looking more bearish to me. This could once again drag things lower, especially stocks like Tesla. So be very open minded to more downside right now on SPY. NVIDIA did try to rebound. We talked about it just about 122. We came, we actually hit the 122 area. So I was correct about that. But I told you all we have this range on NVIDIA to be watching for. And as you can see, it's still stuck within this range. So there's going to be a risk of a little bit more downside. Could be retesting 118 then lower levels. And as of right now, we're kind of range bound. So just keep that in the back of your mind. There's a little bit of weakness developing on NVIDIA's charts. And there could be a risk of a little bit more downside side so i'm seeing some more weakness on video look for a downside targets about 116 if we end up failing to hold above 120 for bitcoin we did try to rebound up to about 65,000, but like i said before we have this resistance right here in the 65,800 area so i could be looking for a little bit of a drop back down to about 64,750. might be coming back down so we'll just have to see how things go look for a little retracement before it tries to continue higher but that's something else that's worth noting lo and behold guys spy is losing 550 looking more bearish still looking pretty weak just wanted to call that out one more time for the qqq we're also continuing to sink right over here, looking quite bearish. We did rebound a bit. I did call out a little rebound that was coming. We hit 483, a little bit short of our target as well. I was thinking this imbalance with filter was 484. came just a little bit short and rejected. So we called out support at 476. If this fails, let's look for 472. There is a risk of 472.5, so just be open-minded to that. Apple's kind of rejecting right here. We're going to be looking at support all the way down here towards 222. If that fails, us, it'll be a bigger tip all the way down towards 218. Apple's looking a little bit more bearish. I'll be looking at 222 as support than 220 and 218. And we have resistance at 226. We kind of reject it again, so there's a risk of more downside. Once again, guys, the downside metrics are looking stronger for the market. For a few more, we got the IWM. Uh, we failed to hold 218, so I see this gap getting pulled towards 213. I do see a little bit more downside potential. Coinbase tried to rebound. We actually held above our 238 resistance to 20 EMA, so we came very close to 248. Uh, this imbalance is at this 250 area, but this is going to be a tough resistance 250. So we'll see if we reject off 250 or not, but there is a risk of it coming back down lower, all the way back down to 244, and eventually 242. For Amazon, we dipped quite a bit, coming all the way down to about 179 only to rebound. So we're kind of shuffling in this 180 area. But like I said before, there's a downtrend on Amazon, so it's looking more bearish overall. Meta tried to rebound we called out a test of about 485 i said that in the morning that's exactly where we went to and it's kind of failing to break through resistance so we might be looking for a retracement back down towards uh basically 475 so i could be seeing some downside guys and even lower levels so watch for that microsoft is shuffling for now but just be careful with the big news that came out involving uh crowdstrike I think that we're struggling to break past 440, so there's a risk of this dipping back down to 432. So keep that in the back of your mind. There is some downside metrics. Same thing with Google. Watch key support at 178.8. If we lose that, we're going to be dipping lower. If we hold this, we could be looking for a retest of 182. In my opinion, I think it's going to be dipping back down to 178.8, so just be very, very careful with this. With that being said, guys, um, I just want to thank you all so much for listening. Market is showing more weakness. Spy is continuing to fall. And this is having a negative effect on Tesla. We're just barely at 240 right now. If that fails, I'll be looking for 238 as the next potential target, and then eventually 232. So Tesla's looking more bearish. I just want to give you guys a warning about this uh, with this pullback. And I'm going to give you guys more updates in a couple of hours. So just be open-minded, guys. Don't panic too much. We'll see what happens with earnings next week. That's going to be another major catalyst. Earnings is just like four or five days away. So don't worry too much. And I'll see you guys very soon on the next one. Have a great day and peace out.